Hello my babies. I have another thrift store finds video to share with you. <sighs> okay, I've been trying to uh, record this for, th this is my third time, so I hope this takes. Let's see, let's start over here. I have a white zombie movie. One of those B-rated movies. It says it's uh, 74 minutes. It's one of those old movies. People like them. I get them and put them together. Put two or three together and then I put them on my eBay. So that's that. Oops, that goes with that. This is a little plaque. You can't see it very good. It shines too much. But in person... It's really nice. It's a beautiful pink flower and it has like, I don't know if it got, it's not glitter, but it's really a glossy film over it. And it's hard. Uh, it's on wood. Oh, it was only 99 cents. But I have another picture in my bedroom that has pink and red flowers. So this will match nicely with that. That's why I got it. I found another metal picture frame, but this one is two. It has a five by seven in there, and then it has the little frames for little pictures. So that looks nice. So I thought that I could put this one in with the other ones, make it a lot. Hopefully they'll They'll sell together. Then I found these shoes. And I liked them because they look like uh, snake skin. But they have some metal studs at the tip of the toe and at the heel. These are size 8. And they were $2 because the uh, purple tag was still good was still in effect the purple tag was two dollars for thursday i was there on friday but i still found purple tags so they still give you the discount these are called pretty little thing so yeah these are nice size eight so they wouldn't fit me of course so i bought them from my ebay i found these napkin holders and they are let's see if I could get it out there's styrofoam in there these are Tahari and uh, they're gold tone beautiful they've got white green and yellow rhinestones and they seem to be all there so it's going to make a beautiful uh, table setting for four. Or you could just take the ring off and craft with them, do something else with them. In any case, they are beautiful. I found, let me move this here for a minute. I found some more glass ornaments. Well, they used to be 99 cents, and now I don't know how much he charged me. Anyways, if he charged me 149, it was good. They're glass, and they have uh, glitter designs on them. Candy canes, stars, reefs, I don't know what's on them. Anyways, yeah, that was nice. Here's another one. 149. 99 I don't know I didn't pay attention you know um, there's so many rules now to the to the goodwill these are cream with uh, snowflakes uh, glittered snowflakes so those are pretty 149 so um, I had a, I went on Friday so I was going to use my 20% off coupon but because a lot of these things are, are um, 
seasonal, my coupon didn't work. I had to get non-seasonal items, you know, like this one says miscellaneous, and this one says seasonal, or says Christmas. Um, the items that are not seasonal would be, would count towards my discount, and I have to get, this one says Halloween. I have to get uh, $20 with non-seasonal items for me to be able to use my coupon, and I, I didn't make $21 without my seasonal items um, and I thought it was I thought it was over but anyways I wasn't gonna argue I just went ahead and paid for it I paid $26 for all this 26 something this is a nice matchbox for your fireplace or your kitchen stove I don't know if it's pewter but it's some kind of tin. Uh, Two forty nine, and it's been soldered in the back. So I don't know if it's somebody's project or what, because it has no label, and there's still matches in there. I can't get them out because the raised parts, the raised areas down there grabs my hand when I try to stick my hand in there, so I'm <laughs> not going to do that. So yeah, I got that uh, matchbox. I thought that was pretty nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on my eBay or if I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to look to see what it's, you know, what the, what it's going for. I found this little bowl for salsa with the jalapeno painted on there and it has the little spoon and there was this little cup that came in there I don't know what it says it says tequila something and uh, it had a little metal piece I don't know what that metal piece is for but this little cup is broken so that's going in the trash I don't like anything broken but this yes I like that. People collect jalapenos. I just sold the jalapeno salt and pepper shakers. I found this uh, mortar and pastel set. It's beautiful wood. Look at that beautiful wood. It's all nice. I like that. I'm going to look to see if I can sell it on eBay. If I don't, I'll keep it for my tincture making. See what I can do with it. I found some clothes. Um, let's see. On the I found this uh, Banana Republic purple color, so that was two dollars. And I got it because it's an eight T, so that means it's longer than normal. I don't see that it's very much longer, but the sleeves are. But, you know, I put in the measurement, so hopefully whoever's buying it knows what they're getting. It's got the little pocket on top. It's still sealed. It's got notch collar. Pretty nice. The back is just plain. Yeah, it's just a plain black blazer. Sometimes I get mixed up with the colors. Uh, this is black, but sometimes I think it's blue or gray. I found this sweater. This is a grandpa sweater. It's got a pocket on top for your cigarettes. Two pockets on the bottom, full button, it's got ribbed wrist and waist. Uh, it's just a Goodfellow. I think uh, Goodfellow is from Walmart XXL. Yeah, 
and this was $4.99 but it was pink so it was half off for the pink so in the back nothing just some styrofoam from <laughs> from that box but it's good it was a good sweater people like to wear those grandpa sweaters then I got me a little flannel shirt oops sorry yeah little flannel shirt full button button sleeves has a little gathering in the back and it doesn't have a doesn't have a tag of the maker but it is 100% cotton extra large so I like the baby blue I like the baby blue color so that's why I got it let's see I found this wreath and I like the brown uh, I don't know what you call this branches or whatever it's not real of course uh, but I it has these leaves and they look like eucalyptus leaves so I thought that would be nice for the fall I have some orange flowers and some more green leaves that I could add to this and this has all kinds of bells on it I'm going to take off the bells and uh, it was only $2.49 so yeah, that's going to make a nice fall wreath. Another project for me. Still working on projects. Uh, let's see, and I found this lamp. I liked it because it was all white. It's just the white lamp. I need, look at the finial. Isn't that pretty? The silver tone, silver tone and white. So, yeah, I like that finial there. Gotta find a nice white lampshade. I haven't even tried it to see if it works. You know, there's no light bulbs at the Goodwill, so you could try it. So I have to keep the Keep the tag on, try it out, see if it works. If it doesn't, I can take it back. I think they said within a week you can take any electrical stuff back. I think anything you could take back within a week. I'm not sure. I tell you, there's so many rules to follow anymore. Um, I'm going to have to stop going to Goodwill for a while. There is other... Uh, um, thrift stores around it's just Goodwill it's just so close to wherever I go all the time and that's why I go to Goodwill they're just everywhere and everywhere I go there's a Goodwill so that's why I stop uh, the other thrift stores that I like to go to like the uh, Desert Industries and the Lutheran thrift store they're so far away from me I have to actually make plans to go over there so that's why I go to Goodwill I found this little journal book and this is my little booklet that I was writing my to-do list on so I just glued it onto this page there was another saying on it or another bible verse on this one but I covered it up just to put this little paper in here so this has a lot of little things um, to do or whatever. I don't go by that. I just I just like the lined paper, and so that's where I put my to-do list for every day. So I figured every day I'm going to be looking into my goodwill. I mean my uh, to-do list, so I might as well get a Bible verse out of it. So, yeah, these all have Bible verses, and 
that's what I'm going to be doing my daily writing in. So that's it, you guys. That's all I found. This was my most treasured item. The Tahari um, napkin rings. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's it. I hope you guys have a good day and keep those people in your prayers, the ones that have gone through uh, the Helene hurricane. Uh, the hurricane has gone by, but the uh, devastating uh, effects of it are still lingering. So let's pray for all those people needing help. I will see you guys next time.